just a, a little summation of how Darren Collison's been doing uh, so far, filling in for Chris. There well. There's something. <laughs> <that's really laughs> no, he's, been, he's, he's done well. He's just, you know, we we don't want to take him out of his game. He's more of a scoring guard. Um, but what he's doing is he's playing with a, a great pace because that's his advantage for us is his speed. I think his defensive pressure uh, has been absolutely wonderful for us. Um, so that's a little different. Um, and, you know, he, he's shooting the ball well, and we're using him as a spot-up shooter his time, even though he's at the point guard spot, uh, because we have Jamal and J.J. and Blake that can handle the ball. So he's doing everything we've asked him to do. In Dallas, he said that, Yeah, yeah. As a player, you do. You know, I think every player has that when they play against any, whether you like the situation or not. I, I don't think I loved the situation that I didn't like. But you still, when you play your your old team, you're playing against guys you know. You want to play well against them. Um, I never had that angry game. You know, where I played one of my old teams and I didn't like the other coach or hated the team or I didn't have that. Uh, but you still wanted to beat them very badly. Yeah, if you get outside of your game, it can, you know, especially at that position. But uh, I thought he handled it pretty well. You guys have talked about acknowledging interest in uh, Hidu. Um, how do you pronounce his name? Because I, I may have to get used to that. Can you say that again? <laughs> okay, just check it. <laughs> how, how, how concerning is the fact that he you know, tested positive last year and only served 20 games? It's no concern now for me. You know, he's done. He's going to do his physicals whenever we finally get all the stuff done. But we we do anticipate signing him. Uh, you know, at least we hope. Uh, it's not nothing's official until it's official, as you know. I think you've been in this league long enough to understand that. Um, you know, I usually don't say stuff, but I think everyone pretty much knows. Uh, but it's not done. So until it's done, it's not. You know, um, but he looks good. Um, we'll see. You don't feel like that's an area you need to address, you know, going forward? Yeah, you always address it when you uh, bring guys in and you talk to them. You talk to them about anything that's happened and uh, in, in his past. Not only just that, but, you know, he was in Orlando and didn't play. And so you talk about all you Every guy we bring in, though, that's that's nothing new. Is he in better shape than Steven? Uh, I'll let you know. <laughs> Is this a 10-day or something longer? I'll let you know. Doc, you expect to move him at the start of the road trip? Yes, I can tell you that. If, if and when you do bring him in, what does he bring to your team that somebody else doesn't at this stage that you could have? Well, he's another shooter. You know, that's, you know, sometimes you don't bring a guy in because someone else is not doing something. You bring a guy in because he does something that our other guys do as well. And so, you know, he's another shooter. Um, he can space the floor. He's very skilled, and um, we would like to take advantage of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's, you never know how that goes. I think with the veterans, it usually goes pretty well. Veterans are pretty easy to fit in the locker room. Young guys, for the most part, they don't even know what to do in a <laughs> locker room for the most part. So I don't really have a concern uh, when you bring veterans in. Will Reggie be available? Yeah. I don't know yet. You know, he's still he's not 100 percent yet, so we're going to take that slow. Is Lamar Odom kind of falling off the radar? Is somebody you're looking at? No, we're we're looking at everyone. You know, uh, we're not going to stop looking. I'm, you know, I'm going to say this all year probably, but uh, I think it's our job to do that. Uh, it it really is, and so we just keep you know watching and and watching and paying attention to everyone, uh, guards, you know, bigs, everyone. What do you make of what Dirk's playing would do at his age and with his relatively recent injury history this season? He's just more skilled than everyone. You know, I, I, it, it almost comes down to that with him. He's seven feet tall. He, um, he's, you know, maybe the best shooter in the league, if not top five still. And at that size, it makes him very difficult to guard. Uh, he can put the ball on the floor. You know, and when you're seven feet tall, you don't have to have great wheels. You don't have to go that fast. At the end of the day, he's still taller than the guy most of the time guarding him, and he's probably going to get his shot off. 
Um, so he's, uh, you know, it's funny, as a staff, you sit around, you concoct all these ways that don't work to try to guard them. Uh, and it's amazing how many different ways to <coughs> guard them. How do you practice for this? Well, you do, but, you know, if you don't win, you, then you want to win the next one. You know what I mean? We, I think we lost to Indiana, if my memory serves me right, before we went on our last, is that correct? That's pretty good. Um, on our last West Coast trip, uh, our East Coast trip, and, you know, we ended up 4-3, and three, so. But clearly, you like winning going out on the road. I mean, it's a six-hour flight uh, of misery, you know, when you don't win a game. Uh, and then you have to go out on the road, at least for the people around me, it is. And so you want to win. It, it makes you feel better. Doc, 7-11 nights. Uh, how, how do you see that, though, from a standpoint of you just came back recently from another one? Yeah, it's a hard one. I think this is far harder because of that. Um, you know, it's nice that we had the four days and all that stuff, but it still doesn't make up, you know, seven games, seven different cities in 11 nights. That's a hard trip. Uh, it just is. And so I think we should embrace it and have a great time with it. And really, I think we should smile our way all the way through. How do you pack for that? You personally? You pack a lot. You know, <laughs> How many suits? Uh, seven. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why seven? Because we play seven games. You, you need to look different <laughs> in every city? Yeah, I, I don't. I, I, underwear. I'm not good enough to do that, so <laughs> I've given up on that. I've tried that once, and I thought I had a black pants and a blue jacket with black, so... Um, and I almost got away with it, and the player on another team noticed it, and so I've given up on that, <laughs> on, on that look. So. Hey, Doc, what has it been like walking around after that, that, the way you guys beat the Lakers the other night? It wasn't just a win. It was you know, that's a good question. I, not, you know, people make comments about it, but I, listen, they, they're so, it, it would be interesting, it would be different if Kobe and, I mean, they, they're just, they have so many injuries, you know, so, you know, you hear your comments, and, you know, but I didn't, let anybody enjoy that too much, at least around us, you know. Um, but yeah, you hear stuff, and um, but you just kind of move through it. Any, any news? Any other pictures signing today? Any, any more news from break? <laughs> what was that contract? What was that contract? Two fifteen. Say that again. Make more than Kobe. Put it that way. Seven years, thirty million. I think nice. he makes as much in six innings as Koufax made in his best year. You're yeah. the wrong sport. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> He's really good, I can tell you that.